he's given up on life completely. This is like some next level pre-wedding nerves, commitment phobe behavior right here. Do you actually want to marry me or not, Jake? <laughs> It kind of is feeling like you really don't. Oh, this is a disaster. This is a complete disaster. Hey, my little teacherinis, and welcome back to another episode. What the? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of BitLife Controls My Sims on our beautiful little houseboat in the Bahamas. I was going to say the Maldives. I don't know why I always want to say that, but in our little house in the Bahamas. Now, if you guys remember the last episode, we aged up our two little babarinos. We've got Sophia here, who's the eldest. She's now a child. And we've got Matilda, who will be aging up into a child in this episode. However, before she ages up into a child, we actually have a wedding to do because at age 37, I finally said yes to Jake. I said yes to the dress and we married at a winery in it says a winery it doesn't say where but i'm kind of assuming melbourne so we can be with our friends and then we went um to melbourne for our honeymoon as well so i'll get to hang out a little bit in the place where i'm from my looks are at 100 i feel like that might be because we got a little boob job in the last episode just a little just a little one but what i was thinking as well is i kind of feel like one i need to get ready for the wedding but two i kind of feel like jake needs an update because you know he's a he's a principal at a school he still has his parents from high school so I feel like I need to spend a little bit of time showing him a little bit of love giving him a little bit of an updated appearance as well I don't know why he always looks a bit burnt here I guess you know what we're living in the Bahamas so it's kind of understandable so if you guys are excited for the wedding and for some aging up in this bit life episode please give this video a big shaky thumbs up if you are not subscribed to the channel already what are you doing come join us come and join our little peachy gang subscribe to this channel and make sure you never miss a video and also I now have a second channel as well if you check out my sidebar on my YouTube channel you'll find more Claire Siobhan where I'm going to be uploading all of my streaming stuff as well. So if you ever want me in the background for a couple of hours just to chill out with, head over to that channel, subscribe, and watch a little bit of streaming as well. So we, I love your little floppy hair, Jacob, but it is definitely time, I think, for a little bit of an updated appearance. Just in time for your wedding. Also, should we match his BitLife appearance? It is BitLife Controls My Sims. Because as much as I like his old hair more, this is kind of a little bit more like his BitLife hair. Although, if this is a wings hair, it probably has really strange colors. Yeah, we kind of saw that one coming, didn't we? We saw this one coming. In, there's no equal. Oh, that's so annoying because it looks just the same as well. What else have we got? This one's kind of cute, a little bit tussly, a little bit floofy, a little bit shavy. Might just go for some sensible head hair. He is meant to be a little bit older now. What do you reckon? Just a, lo a little bit of sensible head hair. Make his eyebrows match it a bit more. Just because, like, he needs to match his in game appearance. I also think I'm going to remove his. Uh, oh, his eyelashes went. Goodbye. I'm going to remove his lip ring. Like I said, he's just. Is it a different stage in his life? Not everyone has to remove their piercings. But I feel like for Jacob, he has decided to remove them. And apparently, according to BitLife, he got himself a whole... He's got himself this shaped beard. <sighs> I don't know if I can allow it. I don't know if I can allow it. I feel like this beard is just not doing anything for his chin. So I'm going to go for a... Mm, I think this one's the most flattering on his features. So there we go. Just because he's got it, he's got it in BitLife. So I have to match. And then let's make him a wedding ready outfit. Let's get you a real nice fancy wedding outfit, okay? But also for hot weather. Hot weather vibes wedding outfit. I'm kind of boring. I always end up going for this when it's hot weather vibes. Oh my gosh, look at... Look at those fancy trousers. Oh, I like that one. I've never seen this before. You're gonna have to take your sliders off as well, just for two seconds, Jake, what do you reckon? And put on some little boat shoes because we're going for this whole hot weather vibes wedding. I bet in hot countries you don't even do this, but um, English people like the idea of having a wedding where we don't need seven layers because it's really cold. Okay, and then obviously Abaruni, she needs a little bit of a wedding vibe as well, doesn't she? I kind of like on some outfits, I have the purple streaks and in others I don't. I think for my wedding, I'm gonna drop them for now. A little high ponytail for her dress? I think so, because then we'll uh we'll get to see all of the detail at the front. I have so many wedding dresses to choose from. Ooh. Oh, Willow wore that one. I was like, we've not done that one before. But we have, we've had it before. Cute, 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 cute. Oh, I don't know. Kind of vibing something like this for her. I like the little belt. I think that's quite cute. She's super buff, so she's definitely got the bod for it. I think that looks pretty. I am going to change her lips, though, because I think that looks really dead. We don't want dead lips on our wedding day, okay? We want rich, beautiful, alive lips. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. <gasps> yes. Love it. You look so beautiful. So beautiful. You don't look a day over 30, yet there you are, 37. Two kids in, still looking absolutely fantastic on your wedding day. Okay, so you're looking at Brill, and then this is kind of 
of cute because the fact that Matilda hasn't aged up means we can have one child and one toddler at a wedding. So like, oh no, Sophia. Sophia, babes, what's going on here? Ah, that rhymes. However, I'm kind of thinking it's cute because we could have, like, she can be the bridesmaid and then Matilda can be the flower girl. And I think that's kind of cute. I want to try and find like matching dresses. So we've got like Sophia's dress. And then if I can get Matilda a similar dress, I will be very happy. Oh my gosh, is this the same one? This is the same one. Oh, this is going to be so cute. Okay, cool. The girlies have got little Michi Machi dresses. Really adorable. And Jake be looking real handsome. And Abby be looking real beautiful. Bish bash bosh. Ready for our wedding on the vineyard. However, I can't kick things off yet because it's this little one's first day of school. So I thought I'd let her have a first day of school. School starts in an hour. And then tomorrow I'll get her to calling. But I don't think she's earned like a holiday day yet. Oh, she actually has three days. But still, I'll let her do a first day of school first, okay? And Jake, you can definitely be the one to help out with the homework since you are a literal teacher. I feel like you should have got this. Oh, you've, you've put that lip piercing back in. I don't think I removed it on our outfits. He looks older though. Like he's meant to be 46 or 48. 30, sorry, 30. He definitely looks more his age. But if you guys remember the last episode, I quit my job as a stockbroker and became an environmental scientist and said, I took a pay cut, but I feel like I'm much happier and I enjoy my job. So I'm going to put in some effort at work. The Mahogany Company. That sounds like the opposite of an environmental company, but okay. You're 50% done. You've got school in four minutes. It's not a great start. Or maybe I should have put the flowers on my head for my wedding. Mind you, I just wear them all the time. Imagine just rocking up into work wearing this, doing your environmental job. Actually, the best thing ever. Where's Matilda? Is she still sleeping? Yeah, your prop's gonna go daycare, babes, okay? And you are so close to getting this done. So close. Look, he's not going to work until he knows that she's finished her homework. Did you finish it? Did you get it all done? <gasps> Complete. Yes, well done. Look at his little work attire. His little shirt without his little tie. Oh, bless him. Look at him going in with his little strong stature. You need a wee. Don't wee on the bus in your first day of school. Sounds like something I definitely would have done. But please don't do that, baby. I want you to have a good time at school, okay? Off you go. I think I'm going to send Matilda to daycare because I don't rate the nannies in this game. You know, Nanny Rico, probably best example of worst nanny ever, you know? But apparently, I put her on the gallery. If you age her down, she's actually really beautiful. I'm just saying. And do you want to get your whole work done and then we'll call in for sick of school tomorrow for the wedding and I just love where these guys live so much. It's so cute. Ah. Oh and you're stressed. Too much studying. I mean you've done two sets of homework and you've had one day of school but okay your feelings are valid. If you're stressed you're stressed. It's fine you'll have a day off tomorrow for your wedding and I've been promoted to a wildlife technician. Oh my gosh what am I in bit life? Environmental scientist. It doesn't say what level I'm at but I might as well start working harder. Oh Harriet wants a chat. Absolutely. I'm gonna go ahead and call in a vacation day for me as well. And one for you too. And has Matilda been given back to us? Oh yeah, she's just here. Furious because she's bored out of the light bulbs and she stink. Toddlers are hard work, okay? You don't need to call in sick from anywhere because all you do is just rock around in your little, is it like a hamster outfit or a guinea pig outfit? Actually very cute has to be said. Oh, look at us, we're such an intellectual house. <laughs> or just getting on with our day, doing a bit of reading and whatnot. So cute. Jake, what's going on? Why are we walking around the house sad and naked and stink and with tears in her eyes. Please stop this. You're only wearing sliders. I do not approve. The kids are right there, okay? Put some clothes on, please. In fact, make them some dinner because as well, look what they're eating. Wow, it does not take me long in The Sims to start being a horrible parent, does it? And Jake's still spending this whole pre-wedding evening he's spending naked. In bit life, he's desperate to marry me, but in The Sims, apparently he's trying to put me off the whole situation. Oh my gosh, parent of the year. <laughs> Why am I so bad at like Sim toddlers? I don't even know. Oh my gosh, this is like pre-wedding night and it's 2 a.m. nearly in the morning and everything's just a bit of a disaster, guys. It is a bit of a disaster. I don't know what Jake's doing. I keep asking him to take the shower, but he's just, he's given up on life completely. This is like some next level pre-wedding nerves, commitment for behavior right here. Don't know what's happening, but it's concerning. And I love finally putting my kids to bed at 2 a.m. A plus parenting, A plus parenting right here. And Jake, you finally gonna get a shower? What is going on? Jake. You're making me very nervous here. Very nervous. Imagine if he just dies of sadness the night before our wedding. Wouldn't happen in bit life. Oh my gosh. Angsty showering. Like, whoa. Do you actually want to marry me or not, Jake? <laughs> 
It kind of is feeling like you really don't. Wow, way to make a girl feel special. I mean, I did definitely turn him down the first time he proposed because I didn't like the ring enough, which is very shallow and vain behavior. Maybe he's having some last minute regrets. I don't know. And he's literally crying. We were there a whole time being like, oh, is Jake good enough for us? Never once thinking. Maybe, maybe we're not good enough for Jake. Maybe it's the other way around. Oh, wow. And he's not even sleeping in the same bed as us. Jake, what are you doing to me? I even gave you nice new hair. Did the hair dye? Are you allergic to the hair dye? Something isn't adding up here and I feel like it's potentially my fault. Please go to sleep. Please wake up up here. Please, please, please. I want a smooth wedding. Get back to bed. 4 a.m. in the morning. Get back to bed. Oh, look. Why is she? I was like, why is she making winter decorations in the middle of summer? It's actually winter. This is just how nice it is in this neighborhood. Which makes me also think we're going to go back to Melbourne and it's going to be snowy. So we've got uh, we've got all that to look forward to. I'm looking forward to seeing all the friendos again. My parents are still alive in BitLife, but they died in Sims. So I might have to revive them so that they can attend the wedding. Jake, then you'll have nothing to be sad about. Okay, here we go. MCC, commands, revive, Sim. There we go. Got to match it to BitLife, haven't I? And should I invite X Adam, who still has purple hair? Do you still have purple hair in this? Yeah, you do. I'm going to just give him a ring just for a little, little chit chat and see if he wants to come to the wedding. He didn't pick up the phone. Okay. <laughs> rude. Uh, Very rude. Fine. You're not coming to the wedding then, I guess. I extended the olive branch, guys. I've tried several times with that boy. He clearly just does not want this. He does not want this relationship, okay? And I'm not going to push it because I got a restraining order the last time I did that. Gang, we've got to get a move on here. Jake's still in bed. However, I'm like, I need to feed the baby. Like, look, starving and stink, and I can't have that for the wedding, so we're going to have to make tracks, as my dad would say. Make tracks. Oh, look at this little baby, though. Come in to have a little chit-chat with me. Cute. Oh, why are you witching? Don't be having fleas for my wedding day. Jake, J no, Jake, don't slam the fridge and get cake out. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have a domestic at this rate. Please instead go and give your baby a bubble bath, okay? Let's work together. Let's pretend we're a good couple. Oh my gosh, they're all getting cake. The disrespect, cake back in the fridge. Stop eating cake for breakfast. Why are you stuck? Why is your butt on the chair? Get up, get up and wake up your child. Oh my gosh, why is the baby not in the bath? Oh my gosh. Okay, fine, come and grab a pancake. Oh, this is a disaster. This is a complete disaster. And I've made pancakes and he's still got a slice of cake. Up the fridge, this boy, this boy's test my patience. Ah! Oh my gosh, we've been on the potty for an hour now. An hour. And now we're on the potty. You guys literally have matching pajamas as well. And now we're waiting for this child to produce anything other than annoyance. And it still hasn't happened. Even I've come in being like, Jake, what's going on? Just come in for a good old nag. Oh, and to do some sit-ups. Like, look, I can get buff in the time it takes you to try and make this child use the toilet. And you're feeling insecure. You're what are you jealous about? Literally, I'm right here. There's a child I produced for you. Oh, yeah, and this one's got fleas. This one literally has fleas. Look at her itching her legs. Playing Sims. Raging. I literally, she just rage quit the game. I'm getting quite close to doing that as well, to be honest, because it's half past two. We were meant to have an afternoon wedding. I guess we're having an evening wedding now. In the cold, in winter. Um, we finally got her in the bath. Finally, we've got her in the bath. Matilda's hard work, guys. She's not like Matilda in the Roald Dahl book and in the movie. She's like, she's not zipping stuff around with her eyes. She's just been a wreck. I'm on my second helping a pancake, so I'm stress eating. Stress eating. Okay, she's washed. Oh my gosh but you're not. Jake, just have a wee and you're just gonna have to deal with your love fun and your hunger and your jealousy. Oh my gosh, shall I invite my servo bot? <gasps> Mr. Mina Electro. And wedding. Let's do this. Bride and groom. There we go. Oh my gosh, look how many friends I've got. We're literally so popular. Oh wait, you're not allowed. You're not coming. I'm sorry. Okay, and where where looks vineyardy? This place actually does look quite vineyardy. <gasps> oh, look at this. Where is that? Dead Grass Discoveries. Is that in Salvadorada. I feel like that's in Salvadorada, but I'm meant to be going to Melbourne. And Melbourne for me is, is it Willow Creek? I think it's Willow Creek. I feel like this place is in Willow Creek. So I'm going to go here and we will retrofit it to look like a wedding venue. I had such a cool vineyard, didn't I? In my last, my first bit life series. I've been married at a vineyard twice. Just saying. <gasps> yeah, told it, called it, called it, called it, called it. I knew. Oh my gosh, look at the suit that's put on him. It's given us totally different looks, but you know what? I actually quite like both look Ooh, strange face you're pulling, but you are also pulling that suit off a lot. And look at this. Chris is actually hyped. Chris looks hyped. Okay. I'm going to see real quick if I can get a cool vineyard from the gallery. Oh, that's the one I had before. The Tuscan vineyard, isn't it? But we want one that looks Australian. <laughs> Don't know if I'm the right person to be judging that. Oh, that one's Tuscan again. What do Australian vineyards look like? 
I don't know. I'm just getting fields here. I don't even know if you can get a vineyard in Melbourne. I don't know if that's the wine region. I feel like it's definitely not because it's a city and that's kind of not what you want for your wines. So I say we just play it by ear. Oh, what about like a farmhousey one? Okay, that's cool. Is that gonna fit? All the grapes. This will be like ice wine. All the grapes will definitely be frozen in this weather, which does not look very Melbourne-ish to me. Okay, it's kind of facing the wrong way, but I don't think there's a great deal we can do about that. That's fine. These are the grapes. <laughs> they look really happy. But oh my gosh, look at this. This is kind of adorable, isn't it? Oh wow, it's a hotel. It's a vineyard hotel. However, I need a wedding venue. But I know if I put it outside, they're probably gonna do a wee die of, of the cold. So where can I do it instead? Wow, this is an amazing build. Oh, <gasps> what about in here? Ooh, we'll do it in the little garden-y room. Well, it's got bees in it, but that's fine. I can kick the bees out. I'm gonna do a little bit of reshuffling. And I don't even know why I bother putting in wedding stuff because weddings never go right, okay? They just absolutely never work. People never watch. It's just all very frustrating, but what can you do? We'll try it. We'll try our best to make this work. And oh my gosh, look at that. My parents back from the dead looking fly. Mum's worn white, awkward, but still looking fly. Wait a minute. I think I accidentally reinvited you. Okay, great. Well, here's what you could have had. There's something really messed up about inviting an ex that you're on bad terms with to your wedding, I have to say. I'm hoping he doesn't try and flirt with me. Where's all the rest of my gang? Where is all the rest of my friendos? I can see Harriet over here. Ooh, Harriet, you look absolutely lovely. You've got a bit of a strange expression on your face. These are my friends from uni. You all look like complete wrecks. Don't really want to allow you in, but here we are. And I realize I forgot to get a caterer, so I'm going to go ahead and buy a caterer. Are we in a dry vineyard? Because this is a vineyard and yeah, I see no bar. So let us get on that real quick. Have you just sat and done your homework? Cute. And uh, now that everybody seems to have shown up, let's go ahead and actually we'll start with a wee drink and then we'll get the show on the road, okay? Oh, have we just left the kid out in the rain? Oh no, what? You, what's wrong with you? You pooed on yourself. Great. And you're tired because it took you so long to poo as well. And now you're off into the toilet. Just fall in and flush yourself away, Matilda. You're too much work. Oh, and I'm feeling pumped. I'm in a great all mood. This person stood in front of the bar. However, will she actually be making drinks? Apparently I can't get her to make me anything. She's just blocking the bar, which for me is, it feels like the worst thing a person can do, really. But who are you? Star. You're the one with no eyes. You are hereby disinvited from this wedding. Goodbye. And there we go. We've got the party back on the road again. That is definitely a white wine bottle or an olive oil bottle that we're somehow making red wine from, which confirms my suspicions that Abby is literally Jesus. Oh my gosh, have you got two drinks? Drinks. Yes. Yes, mom. You come back from the dead in style. I'm having a little bit of wedding food as well. It's actually all going a lot better than I thought. Jake, please put your outfit on that I spend at least four seconds finding for you, please. That's more like it. Look at you. You look like, I don't know, like a little peasant from the 1800s. It's beautiful. Okay, this is all good crack, but it's like 6.30 at night. I obviously can't eat anything because I'm sewn into this wedding dress. Let's get this wedding on the go so that Abby can come and stuff her face as well because I would like to actually to get married at some point. Believe it or not, after 11 years of engagement. Oh, but I've got to try and get everyone to come over here, which just never, ever works, okay? Please, Sims, do a wedding pack. Do some kind of wedding improvement because weddings are just a bit of a mess at the moment. Oh, are people coming in though? People are coming in. Adam's not. This is doubly good. Dad's bringing his wine with him. Can no one get by the chairs? Is everyone stuck in this top area? Oh my gosh, yes. If I can get my daughter to watch the wedding, other people might copy. Attend wedding. Are people actually gonna sit and watch the wedding? Oh, I feel like they might be. People are sitting and watching. It's real dark in here. Oh, why, you've come in drunk, great. Although if my ex invited me to my wedding and we hated each other, maybe drinking is the best case scenario. And look at this. Oh wow, you made such an effort. And you're drunk as well. Everyone's drunk, everyone's drunk. The wedding was too late in the day. We got to the point where everyone was too drunk, but everyone is watching. Is this like a recent update? Cause people never used to watch my weddings before. This is actually mind blowing. Everyone is watching the wedding. Oh my gosh. Wait, and my daughter's here. One daughter's here. What about the other one? Oh my gosh, she's there. She's there. The rings are coming on. Look at that, Jake. It's not a 20 pound garnet ring. It's the real deal. And there we go, guys. We have done it. We are actually married. And uh, now we need to do the slice of the cake. Has the caterer arrived? The caterer's here. Caterer, can you make me make us a wedding cake? Well, this is disappointing. There's no wedding cake. Whatever. Fancy showing up to cater a wedding and not making a wedding cake. 
oh my gosh, look at me. I'm glowing. I'm glowing to the point where I kind of look a little bit like a dead ghost. This is a bright room, but it's okay. It's my wedding and I'm glowing. And I'm happy about that. Okay, wedding success. In BitLife, if you check out Matilda, she is still looking very toddler-like. So I'm gonna age up another year and see what happens. I don't want to freak out BitLife. My daughter Matilda started primary school. Okay, that means we can go home and we can age her up tomorrow as well. And since I'm here hanging out with all my old friendos, I'm just gonna like have a conversation with everybody that I would have seen in Melbourne. And I'm also kind of debating getting the girls like, you know, cause I grew up with Gabby the Rap. I feel like they need a little rodent friend. Oh, look at me. It's like, oh no, oh no. What am I doing? Please don't tell me I'm flirting with Chris. Okay, he's not on my love list, but he is flirty. Oh my gosh, be careful, it's your wedding day. It is literally your wedding day and you're feeling passionate. I feel like Chris has had like literally a lifelong crush on us. Chris, look back at me so I can see how much love is in your eyes. Okay, that is not love, that is disgust and sadness. Oh no, wow, he even shook his head as in, oh, why are you even thinking about this stuff on your wedding day? Disgusting, disgusting. Like, that is his face right now. However, look, we still get on like a house on fire. We're still best as friendos. Although he is miserable. Oh, wow. On my wedding day, he's miserable. Interessant. Let's see what's going on in his love life. Oh, now he's drunk. Okay, let's call this a day. Especially because Jacob is right there. It's fine. She didn't flirt with him or anything. I thought she had for a second, but she hadn't. I'm going to end the wedding event and I'm pretty sure we got gold. Best wedding ever. This lot is awesome. I actually really like this. I think it's going to look really cool in summer. I felt like, oh, look at the little, the little plants are coming up through the snow. I feel like we found two really nice nice vineyards for BitLife weddings and I'm happy about that. Okay gang along, let's head our butts home. And in BitLife my happiness is now less than 50 post wedding because I tried to talk to my co-workers and literally everybody ignored or hated me so my life is pretty unhappy in BitLife right now. I love my job, hate my co-workers and I also feel like we should probably do, you know, some wedding day woo-woos. And I did it in Sims as well. Good work all round. No! Okay, this is where it gets a little bit off awkward because I did not expect a pregnancy and I said that Abby really wanted to adopt. No, I really want to do an adoption this episode, but I don't want to adopt and also have a baby at the same time because that's a lot of work when I've also got a child and a toddler. Gang, what do I do? Literally, what do I do? What do I do? Three babies. I'm going to do surprise me, okay? I'm going to do surprise me. Oh, <gasps> We chose not to keep the baby. My relationship with Jake hasn't changed. I literally thought it would do. Oh my gosh. Okay, I didn't do it. The game did it because I chose not to, but still. How old am I as well? I am 38 and I've got, oh, I still don't feel good. I, I feel like, oh, because I know that's how I'd feel in real life, but I think it was the right decision for these two. I mean, this boy's still putting a lip ring in every night and we really want to adopt this year. Still don't feel great about it. Did you guys even woo-woo in this? No, you didn't. You must match bit life. Get in here and woo-woo. She's like, let me have my pancakes first. No, have Jake for breakfast, not pancakes. Now Jake's gone to work. He ain't interested in your woo-woos. And we are back home from work. I like you woo-wooed in bit life, so sorry. I have to make you woo-woo in the Sims. We got to make it match. And then I also... Also, I'm gonna go ahead and age up Matilda so we can kind of see who she looks the most like. Oh my gosh, amazing birthday cake. And let's, I think she's asleep, so I don't know if I can get her to blow up. Yes, I can. Matilda, let's age you up, babes. Oh, look, no one's come to watch. Your family loves you so much. Is it because you were a nightmare toddler? How are you gonna look as a child though? Oh, wow, your blonde hair's gone. You've been given dimples though. I think I will keep the dimples. And you were a wild toddler and now you are a, a light eater, okay? And your aspiration, since you were kind of crazy, I'm gonna give you the motor one. And let's check you out and cast. You did have blonde hair. It was just like a little bit darker, wasn't it? So I don't know where all this has come from. Who do you reckon she looks like? I can see a lot of Jake again. I think she's just a little Jake carbon copy. I think I'm gonna give her short hair. Well, it's not really short, but shorter hair. Oh, wow. She's actually super pretty. I'm pulling up how she looked before to remind myself. Oh, she was freckly. Okay, that's fine because I'm making a freckly. <laughs> Obviously. You know what I'm like. And I said I was going to give her dimples as well, didn't I? Oh, the dimples are on the same one as freckles though. Okay, bun dimps. Look, I switched her hair up for this one with a little plot in it. Look how cute she is. She's actually so adorable. Okay, so definitely think she is so freaking cute. And then Sophia. Oh no, we don't want to delete you. I'm going to give you longer hair though. See, you're, yeah, you're definitely me. And the other one is definitely him. I can see it's so 
clearly now. Whereas before, I just could not see it at all. Oh my gosh, love that hair on you. Oh, my baby's, her face looks like, I don't know. I can't tell. I, I'm just not, I don't think I'm very good at like, looking at a child and being able to identify like, which parent that child looks like. This makes me worried that I will look at my own child's face and be like, who are you? <laughs> look at her. Little soft baby, keeping her arms out the sun. Oh, she's so cute. I'm so sorry that I kind of low-key didn't like you as a toddler. Feel bad about that now. <laughs> okay, so my poor happiness is real low. So I feel like now would be a good time. There's no children available to adopt. <laughs> No, no, I didn't keep the baby and you're not gonna give me an adoption option. Are you actually joking me right now? Like seriously, please don't do this to me. I said I was gonna get them a pet. Okay, so let's get them a pet real quick. Oh, <gasps> there's a gerbil called Floof. I don't know three years is very old for a gerbil. I feel like it is. It's not crazy though. Also, it's really dumb and it's $4. So there we go. We got a gerbil named Floof. Floof's a beautiful name. Don't worry, we're not changing that. So let me get my girls. Um, a little floof. Ooh, we can get rid of this as well. Pop this bed back in. And let's get you a floof. Okay, Thimble is a hedgehog. We've got Hummy the hamster. We've got Whiskers the rat. Or we've got the weird one. I think closest is probably going to be a rat or a Hummy the hamster. That's a Hummy the hamster. And that's, oh, they look actually identical. Okay. Let's go for a rat because hamsters don't have tails, but gerbils do. <gasps> look! There it is. What's it called again? Floof. You are not very floofy. You've got mud eyelids though. Oh, look at you posing for me. Wow, you actually look pure trash, don't you? You look pure trash, but I don't care because we've got a pet now. Look, I'm in the cage with you. Let's hang, Floof. Oh, look, how does it feel to be a, a hamster looking out? A what? What kind of cruelness was that? You know what? We're right back to hating each other again. That was such a cruel. Please be nicer. Just awful behavior. I can't stand people that are cruel to animals. Come and learn to love your little pet, okay? There you go. That's nicer. Okay, she's learning. She's learning. Oh, look, it jumped on a hand. Kids cruel to animals, you have to deal a swift hand of justice of I hate you. I'm on team floof. Okay, that was nicer. I still am a little bit worried to leave you alone with the, hump, with the rat gerbil, but whatever. Age up another... No game! Why have you been so cruel to me today? You just killed Floof. You killed Floof. I had Floof for two minutes and you killed my Floof. I mean, I got promoted, but does it even mean anything without a Floof in my life? I don't think it does. And also Jake farted on my head. So all in all, garbage year. I'm gonna have to buy the girls another gerbil and hope that they don't notice it's a different gerbil. You know what? Crystal the gerbil or Pixie the rat? I'll go with gerbil because I don't think they'll notice. There we go. We've now bought crystal we've now no oh wait i should have changed it to floof i should have changed it to floof okay it's got a different name but i'm hoping they don't notice okay i took it to a rock concert okay whatever what i really want to do is adopt <gasps> oh my gosh we've been pre-approved to adopt a six-year-old girl called seneca higgs if i ask you guys whether i should do this or not will she still be there when i get back i want your guys's input on this should i adopt seneca let me know in the comments below if i do we'll have a in the next episode. So we'll be hitting 40, so that's real fun for us. And I hope you guys enjoyed my wedding slash birthday slash didn't have the baby slash bought a rat slash the rat died, brought another one, hoped my babies wouldn't notice. And now we have this adoption kind of situation. I hope you guys enjoyed all of that craziness in one go. Let me know about the adoption in the comments below and I shall see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.